Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Onos and today it's finally here. The Tengu's Disciple is out now and ready for download if you haven't already done it. Apologies for the delay getting this out. I've been waiting for the patch notes to be released in English and also putting out a load of videos to kick off the launch of Hellpoint. There is so much to cover, I feel like I haven't stopped to take a breath in about a week. Okay, so in this video I'll very quickly go over the new stuff that dropped in the DLC, but my main focus will be the changes from the patch itself which I feel are worth highlighting. There are a boatload of changes, 9 pages of patch notes, some of which definitely need to be mentioned as I feel they will have a big impact on us all and you may not have thought about it with all the new stuff dropping. There are both buffs and nerfs included. So the headlines are the new weapon, the split staff. From the trailer that looks amazing and I'm pretty excited to get hold of it and give it a shot. From what it says in the patch notes this can be accessed from the very beginning of the game so any newcomers can jump straight on this. We've got a new story to follow, the Tengu's Disciple. To access this you will need to finish the main story of Neo 2 first. And of course a new difficulty, Dream of the Demon. Obviously you'll need to finish both Dream of the Samurai and Dream of the Strong before you can unlock this. Dream of the Demon will give you access to higher max level, higher level soul cores and even higher plus values on your soul matching. We've got new yokai to fight, new soul cores, new guardian spirits, new art of combats, set bonuses and more. We've even got new ninja skills and omnio magic skills too. We've got more character customization options including new hairstyles and facial markings. No Touch Throw is no doubt hammering away right now to bring even more character codes to us, so be sure to check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. We've got a new feature called Demon Picture Scrolls. The Demon Parade Scrolls can be dropped by enemies in Dream of the Strong or above and allow you to access a mission through the scroll itself. Upon completion of that mission the scroll can then be equipped. I haven't even had a chance to play the damn game yet but I assume that this will be some sort of accessory. Let me know in the comments if you already know. The Picture Scroll missions can also be played through the Expedition Mode in co-op. I'll talk more about some of the new stuff in future videos. I feel that some of the new content needs a video all of its own. So now I'm going to talk about some changes they've made which I think are worth mentioning. I won't cover every single thing as the video would be about half an hour long, but I've retweeted the patch notes on my Twitter account if you want to go and check those out, if you want to read it all. There's some really good quality of life changes which have been added. Some of these are things I've mentioned in the past, so I'm either a genius or they've been listening or it's just a coincidence. I suspect it's the last one. Anyone who's been watching for a while knows damn well I'm not a genius. Okay, so we now have a before and after view of the refashioning service at the blacksmith. Now you can preview your fashion before you complete the change. This is an awesome little change. They've added an automatic refill on arrows and ammunition from the warehouse if you die or visit a shrine. They've increased the inventory cap from 500 to 600. At the tea house you can now select which of the bonuses you want to prioritise before selecting the recommended tea set. This means that you can automatically max out your luck for example if you wanted to do that without having to manually search through your tea set items. In expedition mode if you fail the expedition you can now continue from the last shrine visited. One change I'm really happy about but we'll need to test how this is balanced is that they have increased the health pool and power of enemies when a visitor has been summoned. This means that co-op should be less of a walkover and hopefully be more challenging when playing with teammates. They have added a charge capacity for a number of weapon skills including true and through and tiger sprint for the katana, twisting spear, devastating rush for the adachi and urgency and devastating strike for the tomfas. They've nerfed the melee versus poisoned enemies attribute on accessories. I think we all saw this one coming if we're honest about it. I know some of you won't like that much, but I'd say for the sake of balance it probably needed to happen. Feel free to scream at me in the comments if you like. There is both good and bad news about the Tengen Guardian Spirit. The potency of his increased attack boost has been nerfed, but it now stacks with other increased attack buffs. The same is also true for Tengen's increased defense buff. This has been reduced in power, but now stacks with other buffs. The Honda Clan bonus to active skills has been reduced to be in line with other clans. This is both good and bad. Bad obviously because it's a reduction in power, but good in the sense that we now have more freedom to pick other clans without feeling like we're missing out on something. From the list I've seen, it looks as though almost every other clan has received a buff, 
so you might want to go and check out who you're aligned to and make some new choices there. There are an incredible amount of bug fixes, a lot of these seem to be related to weapons missing their target or not performing as expected. So in the past for example, I complained about some of the Kasurigama attacks, feeling like they should have hit the target but they missed. This should hopefully be improved, and the changes aren't limited to the Kasurigama. If you want to see a full list of the bug fixes, again I retweeted the patch notes and there's a link to my Twitter in the description. Right guys, I've gone on forever with this one, I'll leave you to go and enjoy the DLC. I hope you found this useful, leave me a like and comment if you don't mind, sub if you're new and I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, bye bye now.